Right, so welcome back to another video on this channel and uh, not gonna lie, that was a very painful watch for the most part of the game, but doesn't matter because we got the three points, we got the job done, uh, regardless of the performance, you know, the points are the most important part at this stage of the season. So, we move on, we have one more step closer now to the Champions League targets. So yeah, so yeah, Chelsea won, Norwich City nil, of course, Norwich already relegated. However, I was quite nervous for not only before the game, but even for most parts of the game, because of course, Norwich, they seem to play with this, not really newfound confidence, but they seem to be a lot more structured at the back, which is not really normal for Norwich, if I'm honest, because I have watched a lot of Norwich this season and they haven't been half as good as they were tonight defensively and look maybe you could say Norwich were a bit more defensively organized tonight however I do think Chelsea were a lot less clinical in attack tonight than they usually are and yeah for the most part of the game it was quite a dull wash not gonna lie because it was a very very flat game for the most part and uh, neither side really created any chances apart from Chelsea's goal and yeah of course another assist for Pulisic another goal for Olivier Giroud the two-man carry job at the moment gives me signs of that Giroud Hazard duo I know I keep comparing Pulisic to Hazard but I will keep doing it until he gives me a reason not to and yeah I did actually think that Olivier Giroud Giroud didn't have his best game tonight however he did score the goal in the end that gave us the three points a vital three points which was a must win game tonight after the performance we put in against Sheffield United and the results from Leicester and United in the last two days he could have had a hat trick really but in the end he got that goal that was decisive and that is all I care about at this moment in time I do think another thing that went well for us again today is the fact that Norwich literally didn't even create any chance I don't even think they had a shot on goal at Kepa so he literally just didn't have to do anything he could have just stayed at home and he wouldn't have had to do anything the whole 90 minutes but um but yeah Norwich really didn't offer us any single threat at all in the defence and that is why Rudiger, Zuma, Aspilicueta and Alonso looked quite sturdy at the back. I mean they just did their jobs because they didn't really have much to do so yeah they all played quite well considering the fact that we kept a clean sheet. Originally when I saw the team sheet I was quite sceptical about Alonso playing in that left back position in the back four. But then I remembered Norwich's wingers aren't really predominantly known for their pace so obviously this was a game that suited Alonso. These are the kind of games that Alonso does suit in playing a back four occasionally. I thought Jorginho and Mateo Kovacic did a very good job in that double pivot in the uh, midfield roles. They controlled the game quite well. Their passing was on point and they really just dictated the whole play of the game. Good to see Loftus-Cheek get over an hour of football as well. I mean, obviously he wasn't as good today as we expect him to be because he's just come back from a major injury and uh, since the restart, you know, he hasn't really been able to show what he's capable of, but hopefully we can see the Ruben Loftus-Cheek that we know and love next season and going forward. I thought Christian Pulisic looked as lively as he usually does. William was quite good as well at times and uh, Hudson Adai was the substitute that stood out for me most. I mean, I thought that Hudson Adai probably should have started because this was a game in hindsight that looked like it would suit Hudson Adai a lot. Because what this game was absolutely screaming out for was a bit of moment of magic from a winger. And uh, Hudson Adai, who is a natural dribbler and is a very, very good dribbler and is pacey down that right hand side or that left hand side, I thought this game would have very much suited him. And I'm surprised that he didn't start. But yeah, I'm not going to get too overconfident because let's be real, we did play one of the worst sides I've ever seen in the Premier League. And that's no disrespect to Norwich. I mean, I'm sure a lot of their fans would agree. But uh, yeah, we got the job done in the end. It wasn't obviously the, uh, the free flowing attacking performance we were seeing from we were expecting from Chelsea hopefully tonight uh, but at this stage of the season as I said it really does not matter how we perform as long as we grind out those points and that's what we did tonight and that's why I'm quite content with tonight's result but yeah we've got four games left of course we have Manchester United in the FA Cup on Sunday a five day break between now and then so hopefully the players will be up for that because I really do even though I want to get top four I really do want to just beat United because I can't accept losing to that PE teacher of a Norwegian manager four times in one season I'm sorry if I sound salty but I just cannot accept losing four times to United alone in one season. Then of course we have Liverpool next weekend. I'm not going to lie, based on tonight's performance and the one against Sheffield United, I'm not overly confident about that. I would be absolutely over the moon with a point at this moment in time, considering the fact that United of course have to play Leicester still, which means that one of those teams are guaranteed to drop points. And then of course we have Wolves on the final day of the season. Going to be a massive game if it does come down to that. And then of course we have that Champions League tie against Bayern Munich, which we are going to win 4-0 by the way. And yeah, that is where we're going to leave this video because there's not really much else I can say except I do want to in fact thank you guys for 100 subscribers because we are growing daily I think at the time of this recording I have 123 subscribers because the support on the channel recently has been absolutely overwhelming and I can't thank you guys enough and I keep I want to keep growing this channel because I want this to be like something that I can kind of make the most out of and that is why I'm very very appreciative for the support and uh, hopefully we continue this going forward but yeah, if you did enjoy this video make sure to drop a like down on the video that would be very much appreciated make sure to subscribe if you're new and uh, yeah I'll see you guys in my next video see ya